Hey YouTube, uh, Hillbilly F100. Uh, getting the engine out of that uh, rat rod uh, donor frame. It's actually an 86 Isuzu. Uh, if anyone is, uh, again, looking for parts, uh, let me know. Uh, it's been a few years since it's been on the road, um, so it's been setting for a while. But there's still quite a bit of good usable parts. I got a guy coming right now for the engine and the transmission. I'm giving a heck of a deal to him. Um, so I'm pulling it out right now. I just uh, used my 20 millimeter. Got the uh, motor mount bolt right here. Got or the nut got it loose already. Um, got the uh, and it's kind of neat because you know you, there's no floor in here, so you can really see. You know, there's the um, transmission mount. I already got those nuts loose. Uh, I think it was a 15, maybe a 14. I don't remember what size it was. Anyways. Um, so that one's loose. I've got the one on the other side. Um, got my old uh, cherry picker here. The ground's a little soft. I'm afraid it's going to sink in. This cab is just setting um, on the frame, so I guess I could uh, pull the cab straight back. Uh, I do have to worry about those uh, two old bed mounts, of course. You know, I don't know what it's really going to hurt the back of that cab. I don't think many people is going to need anything off the back of that cab since the majority of it's gone. But it does make it a little hard, um, you know. But anyways, uh, my old fence is, is just that. It's old. i got to replace it. That's going to be on a video probably within the next year because uh, it's old and dilapidated. So I've just got a bunch of panels sticking up there. There's a two a gate there that's wide enough to fit a trailer and a dually and everything right there. Uh, I've just got to clear all that out and then get it opened up so whenever they get here um, I could you know they can back their truck in or whatnot and we can load the engine up basically the game plan just so y'all know um, now granted the engine could fall there's a lot of crap that could happen but I'm gonna get the engine out and then I'm gonna back the truck up and then take it that way toward the tree that way whenever they back in uh, to there I could just you know have them back right up and then hopefully back right into the uh, cherry picker and we can load the engine up and they could give me my cash and be on their way. So I think they're getting a good deal. Um, you know, I know they're getting a good deal, but um, you know, the engine and trainees has set for a while. So um, it's going to have to, you know, probably be rebuilt. Um, and they know that, you know, and that's what they're kind of looking for, something to rebuild and put a spare engine in something. So I think it'll work out good for both people. All right. Uh, Stay tuned. I'll update as soon as I get the engine hooked up. Bye.
Alright, I uh, got the engine out. Um, the engine in the tranny. Uh, it's just barely uh, hanging on uh, right there. I'm a little leery the way I attached it. I didn't do it the best way I could, but I, I kind of got a little lazy. I just got it out of there. So I want to hurry up and get the, the truck moved. What I'm going to do, like I said, is back it up and then go that way with it. So it's kind of in between, you know, going towards the tree right there. Uh, that way, hopefully, it'll give them enough room to get in there and off to the races. Uh, the noise you're hearing is my little air compressor. I got to uh, air the tires up. They're, they're flat, or at least some of them are. And um, hopefully, I'll, I'll be able to roll this thing. Um, I could get my lawn mower out here, my Craftsman riding mower, but quite honestly, the uh, uh, the blades aren't working on it, so I haven't been using it, so that's another project you'll probably get to watch uh, about the repair on that. In fact, while I've got the cherry picker here, I might go ahead and try to fix that too. But um, So the reason I'm not going to use that though is because I'll have to get the charger and charge up the stinking battery just to get that thing to work. So. It's just more more trouble than it's worth. It kind of seems like everything around here is breaking. Um, but uh, yep. So stay tuned. Uh, hopefully, I'll get be able to back this thing up, and uh, we'll be in business. All right. I'll be back. All right, this is part, um, heck, I don't know, part four or five. Um, as you can see, me talking about myself wouldn't work. I had to, uh, even though I said it was going to be more work, I had to get the tractor, or what I call my tractor. It's my little Craftsman lawnmower. And I'll tell you what, I can't say enough good about that thing because uh, it did it. I really was surprised that it was going to. Well, I'll be darned if it didn't. And uh, uh, basically, it worked just like I planned. I had to pull it over this way, and I ended up just hooking the tow rope across it and yanked it and yanked it. And you can see my tracks where I was really digging in. Uh, a little hard on the hydrostatic transmission. I hate that, but I wasn't there much you could do. And then I pulled it straight on. Uh, once I got the, the wheels turned, it rolled freely and. I was actually, of course, now, this engine and transmission probably weighs a good 300 pounds, but uh, that was the easiest that uh, I was able to pull that little mini truck. So I'm pretty pretty stoked about that. Now all I, all I got to do is get the fence ready to be opened and wait for them to show up. All righty, um, keep in touch.